You good? Mm -hmm. Okay, so thought I'd do a quick blip, guys, of sorghum for you. Who's growing sorghum out there? Uh, my sorghum that's going to hit Ray in the face here. Covered I'm trying it. to keep it somewhat away because if you've grown sorghum, you realize so it, ants love it. Actually, here maybe I'll they love it. Here. And I'm trying to keep so many of them away from her. But this is syrup sorghum, guys. Syrup meaning these stalks that you're looking at. Here's a real good one back here. See the size of that stalk? It looks just like corn. It's not corn. It's sorghum. And what I do with it is it's an it's an ant infestation. They love it because it's a syrup. So like cane syrup or cane sugar, this is the same concept. You can take these canes. I have a sugar cane press. I know you see us jumping around. <laughs> We're being not attacked by ants, but they love us. They're not biting, but they definitely are tickly. They're swarming. <laughs> um, sorghum. Let me find a good... Oh, here we go. Here's a short head. So this is the grain right here. When it's this color, it's done. Once you get this blackish color... Look at the ants coming off of me. Watch, I'll hold it for a minute. They're smart. Mm -hmm. They know the syrup. By the way, guys, if you're infested with ants, I'm a big clap your hands. They usually fall right off. And then you're just being tickled by thinking they're on you. Anyway, <laughs> sorghum's super important. You've got the grain here, the grain head. You're going to grind in your food mill, make pancakes, make breads, make all kinds of stuff out of. Then you've got the stalk. And let me tell you, this stalk... And you can see what's kind of cool too if we come down here. So that's one plant and it'll break off into a multitude of stalks. Um, I very rarely have seen one stalk. They always produce two to five. And from this guy back here, this is just what's left of it, guys. The rest has all been harvested and done. Um, <clears throat> but we just haven't had a lot, of, a lot of time to talk about it. What an important thing sorghum is. When you take these stalks and run them through your sugar cane press, the candy juice that you get out of it that is so hydrating and so good for us is kind of mind-blowing. Not only that, the stalks are a super treat for your livestock. Okay, why do I grow a lot of these weird-ass things? <laughs> this is candy for the animals, okay? They absolutely love sorghum, beyond belief. The chickens love it, everything love it. So, grow some food that feeds you and feeds the animals, guys. No more, I mean, tomatoes and things, they're great, grow them, but those are not livestock feeding foods, okay? Beets, sorghums, corns, comfrey, there's so many. Uh, this giant Swiss chard, love it. The mango beet, it's all incredible, guys. So what I'm trying to show you is, throw some sorghum in the yard. There's a bunch of different kinds of sorghum out there, guys. Mine's a syrup sorghum. Now there is other kinds. I think mine's called Jurassic, and it's from Mexico. And honestly, when I bought it from Adaptive Seeds, it's ironic, you can't find a seed at all anymore. So I've been collecting seed heads just because um, there is other varieties, but this variety is so sugary sweet, it's mind blowing. And it gets the darker, blacker head. You'll see some of the seed pods of sorghum are lighter, some are red. Um, when they look like this, they're certainly not ready, guys. You are not to harvest your sorghum looking like this. They're not developed yet. This is where, ah. this, yeah, I know you like it, right? This is where <laughs> we want to be. That one's done. So, get in the garden, guys. Try a little sorghum. I'm showing you some different things so you realize it doesn't have to be the basic tomato, eggplant, watermelon, summer. This stuff loves summer. So get to gardening.